Okay, it's uh, Ken Kelsch, uh, ASC, and it's part two. Sun's gone down outside. I'm still shooting uh, 5,500 degrees Kelvin. And uh, we're here to talk about me, my past life, my future life, my whatever life, my present life, and, uh, you know, my foray into the the realm of digital uh, uh, single-lens reflex photography. And um, I got really nice comments about uh, the Ken Ken show number one, and uh, I'd uh, also uh, like to say thank you for the encouragement. And I'm back here uh, for five minutes of ego uh, today. So, uh, discounting the five minutes of ego, what I would like to say is that uh, if you're going to go out and shoot something, this is perfect. Um, well, not so perfect, but uh, you know. Perfect is is relative, I think, within your budget. Uh, there are many choices that you can use and um, go with in terms of uh, purchasing your product. And you really have to sort of figure out the big picture. Now, uh, I got the body. Uh, I got a little, uh, this looping device that um, I think helped. And this uh, actually attaches with these bands over the front of the camera body and it loops and you can look in and you have a chance at capturing focus. Now, for me, uh, you have to remember that in the DSLR world, the focus is ex extremely critical because it's very shallow. The drop-off is, is and even more so with the 5D than the 7D because it's an oversized chip. Um, so, you know, this is an F2.8. It's a constant stop. Uh, the focus actually does not hold as you uh, zoom through the, le the lens. You'll, if you also, you'll see that unless you have, uh, have a clip-on matte box, you really can't, uh, being that the, the lens elongates uh, to change its focal length, uh, you sort of can't use a matte box. Now, I highly recommend that you get some sort of matte box, uh, Ivagenis, uh, uh, and uh, I hold, use that for filtration too, which is al also more down the line. You can get a body, again get get a 16 meg card, and get a uh, uh, and, and get yourself a, a, a nifty 50 for 200 dollars, and uh, you know go out there and sh and, and shoot. Um, that will allow you to do something, learn something, and then you can put it up on your laptop or whatever uh, uh, you know uh, editing system you're using. And I guarantee, if you're like me, you will learn something every day, uh, usually about how I've made a mistake. But um, when you're the one-man band, everything is critical. Um, I'm all for crewing. This is so hard to do by yourself. Uh, you know the the uh, when I was in film school and, and, and uh, uh, NYU grad film and TV, I was privileged to work on the Beta Vodka uh, work. I, I didn't work. Beta believed that the students were serfs. He was the master. That was it. Uh, I had uh, I, I swallowed a lot of pride uh, because Beta had a lot of really great hard knowledge. He had shot uh, the Golden Fern, a Czech fairy tale, which was beautiful. Shot black and white, and. Um, he shot Marquetta Lazarova, shot in black and white. It was their epic poem, was their, their version of Beowulf. And uh, shot over two years, uh, phenomenal uh, battle scenes, uh, handheld in the snow, uh, anamorphic lenses, amazing operating, amazing cinematography. And this was my teacher. Um, so, you know, uh, his attitude was a little condescending or was very condescending, but he said a lot of good things. For example, he said that it will take you 15 years to learn to light badly. I scoffed at that. And you know what? Lighting is a soul of cinematography. You can get yourself a, 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 a camera, but um, you do not want to be, at, be a slave of lighting conditions because that's not the art of cinematography. Freddie Francis, a great DP, two-time Academy Award winner, said acting... Lighting, I'll underscore that, lighting, camera, everything else. And uh, it's a really good way to deal with uh, your job as a director of photography because the heart and soul of cinematography, like photography, is lighting.
uh, it's not found. It's not, uh, you know, uh, uh, some sort of uh, uh, ancillary light, some sort of accidental lighting, you know, spills off and you you find it as the, you drive around until you find that perfect location. It's actually easier to have a lighting grip truck and create your own scenario. It's like a director. A, a director doesn't, you know, uh, come a story upon happenstance it's planned uh, as a director of photography I think that I want to a impart the story and I really hate uh, when I go to a job interview and they ask me how do you see this film it's not my film it doesn't say a film by Ken Kelsch it says a, the proprietary credit is a film by somebody else which I, I as a DP find just a little bit offensive because you know what um, there used to be just DPs and no directors uh, and then directors were brought in when they were doing the two and three and four uh, reelers and maybe that's why as DPs we get the attitude we have at any rate uh, my job is to realize the director's vision uh, or the executive producer's vision in uh, in, in, in a uh, the showrunner's vision uh, lighting-wise in a, a long-term series.